Coach Guerra. Yeah. First off, not a high school coach anymore. Not anymore. You guys runner up at Central? Yes, sir. So your highest finish was runner up, and then did you come back another year? Nope, that was last year we were runner up, so we were third year before that. You can't beat that with a stick. No. In Division Two, Coach, I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of first place, isn't it? Absolutely. With, with Graham there, you know, the, the national powerhouse, it's kind of tough to do any better. What you guys did at Central, you had some guys, you had some D1 guys, some academy guys, great guys, but now, Coach, moving on to the college level, what's it been like for you? Uh, so far, it's been uh, pretty good, you know, with Coach Hutchins over there at uh, Ashland University. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's definitely something that I've always wanted to do, you know, get back into it. I was a, a grad assistant at the University of Findlay when I first graduated, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, being back in the college game. You know, when you look at, like, your, your kind of steps of coaching, you've coached college at Division II level before, obviously with Finley, you were at Finley, and then you go to high school, which is a total change even from the D2 level. You know, you got to dial some things back, I think. But what the success you guys had at Central, do you think that that has prepared you now to go back into the, the college ranks? And was it more of a challenge, too? Uh, you know, the good thing about being at Central the last couple of years is the group of guys that I've had. Many of them were, uh, you know, were college ready in my mind when they came to Central Catholic. So, um, I think it definitely helped me and prepared me, you know, to get back uh, into the game. Again, I'm excited. You guys have had a coaching change, you know, from Dernland. You had, you guys have, uh, you know, Dernland. You got Hutchins now. It, is this something where you want to be a D2 head coach at some point? Do you like being the, the role you're in now? Well, I love the role that I'm in now. You know, college wrestling coaching, you know, for a living is uh, is a great role. Uh, I'm sure in the future, I'm definitely looking to, uh, you know, to be a head coach somewhere. What level that is, is uh, you know, you have to be. So we'll I'm guessing you're probably welcome back at Central. You were a teacher there too, right? Yeah. You know, leaving that whole thing, you know, the, the teacher culture, going to now I, my full time job is to recruit, make sure kids are going to class, and that they're winners. That, that's, that's the job now. That's what you got to do. How much of a culture shock has that been for you? Uh, it's, it's been a culture shock in a good way, you know, for sure. It's definitely, uh, again, a dream of mine. To, to coach college wrestling and to coach for a living, so I am uh, ecstatic, you know, to be in this role. And now, uh, you know, I look forward uh, to the future. I look forward to recruiting and uh, bringing guys uh, to Ashland University. Looking at this combine, what have you guys? What does Ashland want to get out of it? What do you want to get out of it? And what are you looking for, a kid that wants to come to Ashland? What are you looking for? First of all, uh, you know, I think they've done a great job, you know, with uh, with this facility, with putting this combine on. It's great for our, uh, for Ohio wrestling. It's great for, for the college world. Um, you know, we're looking for, for good uh, you know students first of all at Ashland University. Uh, we're looking for someone that's going to come in uh, motivated and uh, you know looking to uh, continue to get better uh, each and every day. Looking at the facility, looking at the school. I don't think you know the education second to none. Obviously at Ashland facility. I think you got great facilities. What puts you guys over the edge? How can you guys, what can you tell a kid, hey, you can come here and win a Division II title? What's the, what's the selling point of Ashland, do you think? Uh, you know, first off, we, we have a large number of guys in our room each day. You know, we have almost 40 guys in our roster right now. So, uh, you know, the depth in the room is something that is tremendous. You know, we have six uh, returning um, national qualifiers in our room right now. Uh, we got a three-time All-American, a couple three-time All-Americans in our room right now. So uh, the guys that they'll get to wrestle with each and every day, uh, you know, along with the coaching staff. Uh, we also have Coach uh, Ryan Kirst, who is an All-American at Ashland as well, on staff with us this year. So uh, the, the core group of coaches and uh, I think the depth in our room is, is, is huge. What's the biggest thing you've liked seeing? You obviously like this whole combine, but what's something, some nuances or some little things that you might not be able to see at a high school competition that you're seeing here today? Uh, the competitive nature when they get into tough situations. You know, sometimes you go to see a guy wrestle and uh, you know, it might not be it might not be the toughest competition. You know, out here you get to see these guys grinding it out with some really tough guys. So you get to see their demeanor and their attitude when they get into tough situations, which I think is, is huge that you might not see otherwise. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? That's it, man. Thanks. Hey, thanks for the time. I'm going to get that name right eventually. All right. All right, and good luck this year. Appreciate it.